This one right here. This one right here. What it do? It's your girl DJ. You ready know? You ready know what's up? You ready know? Hey, you ready know what's up? Hey, y'all ready know what's up? Um. I disappear, but then I come back. <laughs> First of all, let's get into this look. Let's get into her. Please, please, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel it myself. It's been a really long time since I've done my makeup, and I've not been ignoring y'all on purpose. I've really just been so unmotivated, but it's okay. Um, I have been renewed. The strength is back and I'm feeling it. So this is actually a life update. So just to let you guys know, I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm very much alive and I very much still care about my YouTube. I've just been feeling like, hmm, what do I post for y'all? Like, do I keep posting this chair stuff? Because I don't really think my personal videos are getting much views or anything. But I'm trying my best not to look at the views. But then it's like... I want to put out stuff you guys really want. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do all of the chair video, the list of chair videos that I have down for y'all. And then see where we go from there. But yes, this is a life update. And I'm just here to tell y'all that your girl is feeling blessed. Can you hear me? I said blessed. Like, I've just been in such a great space. Like, my energy is high. I've been been I've been productive. I've been more spiritual. Like I've really just been in an amazing place and I could see like from when I was depressed to when I was trying to do better to when I fall off to when like I'm just looking back on all of the cycles and all of the processes and I'm just so proud of me and I'm like it's only by God's grace because y'all your girl was in a sunken place. Okay, let me tell you, it was bad. But I'm out and I'm feeling blessed. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm in school, of course. I actually had midterms this week. I took an exam today. I'm hoping for a B because I it wasn't hard. It's just like you kind of psych yourself out. You think you know it, but then you second guess. <sighs> yeah, logic is not for the week, please. Um... So turns out, I'm actually in the wrong major. I'm supposed to be an aligned health. I'm a psychology major. So if I want to be an occupational, a pediatric occupational therapist, I have to have a degree in aligned health. And I did not know that. So I might have to take a few more classes, but I'm not worried about it. It's cool, it's cool, whatever. Um, hmm. relationship, I am very much single, and I wouldn't say I'm not ready to mingle, I would just say I'm not interested in mingling, if that makes sense, fine. The last boyfriend I had, hmm, that didn't go so well, so I'm just taking my time, you know what I'm saying, I'm taking my time, I don't really want to rush into anything. But at the same time, I kind of, yeah, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I really just feel like relationships in our generation, in this current generation, is all about pleasure. Like people only care about having sex and spending money and going places and buying nice things and looking nice and this, this, all these object, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? People that really love objects, it's a name for them. Materialistic, there we go. Very materialistic generation, and I'm just not in it right now, and I don't really care for it. I feel like when God blesses me with all those things, you know, thank God. But I'm not out here trying to find a sugar. Y'all remember when I had a sugar daddy? Oh, mercy, how far we have came. God. <laughs> but... Yeah, that that's literally what the world 
the world is right now. Like, no one really cares about love anymore. No one really cares about building a foundation. They just want to be outside. Like, it's so annoying. Like, what are you... What are you gaining? Like, no, there's no gains out of what this generation is doing. And it's so sad to see. But I'm going to be the one to tell you. It's not cute. Um, chill. Like, you have a long way to go. HIV is a real thing. Herpes are real. Like, um, Corona is very real. But you're outside. And I mean, most of y'all vaccinated, so. But yeah, that part, I am not ready yeah you know and it's so crazy because my school is actually mandating it and i'm hearing that so much states have actually placed a heavy mandate on the vaccine whatever so it's like the mandate really is like you can't work you can't buy food you're literally gonna start they're separating people because of this and i just don't know if y'all know but that's of the devil separation division Divide and conquer. Does that is that ringing a bell to anybody? Like, definitely not of God. So them trying to separate the vax and the unvax, like it's a battle or war or like a disagreement to the extent that it's keeping people from living. The devil. Like I'm, I'm saying, like, can we talk about it? Like now, if I believe if you go to New York, there's certain restaurants you cannot get into if you're not vaccinated. There's certain places you can't go into. It's like a lot going on. And I don't understand why. Yeah, I usually have like this fake British accent when I'm confused because I'm not understanding. Like what? What is the purpose of all of this? But yeah. So, hmm. Relationship-wise, I'm fine. I'm full in love and joy. But it would be nice to have a partner. I wouldn't say boyfriend. A partner. Someone is helping me grow. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, spiritually, physically helping me work out. You know, maybe that, that'd be nice. But... <laughs> like I don't know like, I just feel like a boy's presence is not needed in my life right now but in the near future very near future but um yeah that's that mm, family everyone is good no one is hurt no one is sick I thank God it is really by the grace of God that I have been working throughout the whole pandemic and I have not caught COVID. Nobody in my family has caught COVID. And I am in close proximity to people. So that's God. It's really... It makes no sense. But I'm blessed. I'm so sorry. Blessed. Blessed. Okay? Blessed. So, um, I'm just feeling... I feel great. I'm, I, I pray to God that the seasons that are coming may also be favorable to me and I may continue to be in high spirits. Um, hmm. What else do I have to talk to you about? I actually had homecoming. We had a alumni game. I wanted to vlog, but it started to pour like heavy. Y'all know when it's raining and the rain is beating you up? Yeah, that's what was happening. And I was just like, imagine if I really brought my camera out here. I would have lost the camera for why <laughs> but yeah you guys I have TikTok follow my TikTok so a lot of people's been telling me that I should stop posting on Instagram and start posting more on TikTok because TikTok will find me more people like more more genders more age groups it's very diverse on TikTok unlike Instagram where it's like it's throwing your videos to people that you were friends with like 10 years ago and they might never ever see it because they don't get on TikTok I mean they don't get on Instagram anymore yeah so I'm gonna try to be very active on TikTok if not any other platforms because I know the people I gain on TikTok I should also transfer here and then on Instagram so TikTok is kind of yeah priority and especially with my business i feel like i have to start promoting more i'm actually looking forward to having my first photo shoot i haven't had a photo shoot for my business i haven't promoted myself um that way as of yet 
but I definitely want to do that probably in the winter kind of winter theme but I don't know we'll see how I'm feeling but um as for that that's that um I'm thinking about going back on a diet y'all because yeah that's not supposed to be there and i checked my weight and it's about 160 and i'm usually between 158 and 156 like i fluctuate between that so me being 160 is not cool at all but you know i don't blame me because i've been eating a lot of donuts and ice cream and i don't feel bad about it so it's okay i'm just gonna cut down on the sugary stuff and flush you know what i'm saying flush it out Okay, I, um, yeah, going back on a diet, actually on a hmm, journey, I'm not gonna share any details right now, but look out for that. I'm saying, I missed y'all, I really do. Um, I want to create more, I really wanted to record this look, but I dread editing. And one thing about YouTube, you have to love editing, and it's just so much. And I don't even have the, the softwares. Like, it's not perfect. And I think that irritates me. Because, like, the YouTubers I watch, it's, like, perfect. But I'm not jealous. My time will come. And when it does, I'm sure I'm going to have this YouTube till I'm a lot old. So, yeah, just get comfortable. I want to have a Q&A. So, I would need you guys to leave some questions in the comment box for me. Any questions you have for me. Any questions at all. Any videos you want me to make. Anything. Absolutely anything. And I will respond. Okay. Um, I want to get to know you guys more. I want to really understand my audience more. Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I kind of do. Yeah. But... As for the complete update, I'm well, I'm healthy. I thank God that I am here. I'm able to talk to you guys, able to be right here with you again because it's been a long time since I have came to YouTube. But I miss y'all. And please let me know what you would like to see. And apart from that, I'm just going to start fleshing out videos to you guys. Videos that I've already planned and just been hesitant to do. Um, yeah, I have deleted that button that that spirit of hesitation and procrast procrastination i've deleted it it's gone it's forgetter okay now i'm doing it not for me but for my children because we need money so i gotta do this this thing you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay but that's all i have for you guys please make sure you like comment subscribe if you want to you know it's not a must but Please, I would love to get to know you. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Okay, I forgot to also mention that I am in such a blessed church with so much blessed people. It's, I've just been so full of love. So full of love. And um, I really thank God that he has made me into who he's making me into and um yeah peace